All right, so we were looking at the end of war, and my hand hit the the stop symbol. See a lot of rust built up in there, so thank God I suggested for them to do a uh, system cleaning because again, what happens when one of these particles go into something real thin? And we're talking about as thin as that blade right there, and cause clogs to their. Um, what do you call it, the heater core, and also uh, radiator systems, and it starts clogging up the water jackets and the engine, and it creates overheating, and you have a busted engine afterwards because you walk the engine out <clears throat> because someone didn't know how to clock it. <clears throat> this is why we pay, we get paid 150 an hour. I'm charging my customer 80 because, you know, <clears throat> I'm tired of people ripping people off. So, doing 80 just so that the customer can, you know, get this done right and uh, have it done right. Don't ever let someone who's not AFC certified touch your vehicle. I don't care if he knows he rebuilt a car and he got a shop in his garage. Don't care. If he doesn't have that certification, don't let him touch it. If he smokes drugs, F no. So, that's one of the primal things that I'm out here in California, I mind you. Sacramento, this is mainly, especially up in the north area, oh my god, I get all of these every day. I'm I'm always looking at someone that touched something, got paid, and now the customer's pissed off that I gotta go back in there and do it again. Because they did it wrong, oh. <clears throat> I meant to show you the back side, where's that thermostat right here. So you see how it's cocked over to this side it's literally locked in the lock position I can have them boil water and put this in a cup of water clear and see if that uh, thermostat opens up and you'll find out that that thermostat's locked <clears throat> because they clocked it wrong all right learn how to bleed the system also gotta bleed the system but anyway <clears throat> I just finished this right here so let me go to the other thermostat and um, that way I can do the other thermostat there's three bolts, they all equal length. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it's not like you can mess it up. <clears throat> A child can do this. I can have one of the ladies who owns this, you know, do her own thermostat and teach her how to do this. Um, it's just, it's so ridiculous that <clears throat> for, for quick cash, how people treat people. I look at it like this, <clears throat> ladies, your mothers, right? <clears throat> so why am I going to do this to my mother for a couple of dollars? That's some dope fiend shit. <clears throat> and, but then again, you know, we're out here in California, so the majority of the time, this is the way most people behave anyway out here. <clears throat> Always trying to snake another person or to come up on another person <clears throat> because they don't have the knowledge. So they're always trying to, you know, do something. And it's always the dropouts, dropouts, the ones that we call dropouts, you know, you know what a dropout is, not the one we're talking about high school or anything, we're talking about dropouts, people my age that are nothing but dropouts because they're so busy on that pipe, they're on that glass and when they're on that glass, it's just nonsense, it's foolishness, retardedness, garbage. So just remember, <clears throat> I'm going to clean this area up so that the seat sits perfectly. It's supposed to be a rubber piece, which is good right there. Okay. And usually, <clears throat> these thermostats, they work, they warp out even when, you over, when they overheat metal to plastic. You know what happens to plastic, and mind you, <clears throat> plastic came from where? China. And you already know about quality control coming out of China, so I'm not going to keep on beating a dead horse to death about this, but <clears throat> you pay for what you get for. I mean, this is why Dodge is going out of business. Um, <clears throat> its engines are literally junk, like literally junk engine, and why... Are we spending money on something that's junk? 
piston ring problems. The car already uh, less than 100,000 miles. I've seen these vehicles with piston ring problems, uh, overheating problems. And mind you, always under 50K. Just imagine when you hit 100K like this one and you start finding out the little problems, you know, that are going to deal. You hear the knocking, the little ticking sounds that the lifters have. <clears throat> and this is a main problem that Dodge has. And I don't care what vehicle it has, it has problems with its lifters. Because it's made where? In Mexico. Manufactured where? In China. <clears throat> Reassembled where? In Indiana somewhere. Oh, wait, let's go see where this car was built at. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, where is the zone? Where is the zone? Where is the zone? Zone, zone, zone. Ha ha, ha ha ha. It wasn't even manufactured here in the United States at all. So this is a foreign car sold inside the United States as an American vehicle. <clears throat> so from the numbers that I'm seeing right there, this is built, produced, manufactured in Mexico. Sold here in the United States. <clears throat> and this is why you have quality control problem. Because what I spend on a soft drink, they make in one month. So dollar transfer or dollar exchange what does my soft drink cost me uh two dollars and 43 cents out here <clears throat> and that's what they get paid on a monthly basis if we convert their money from pesos to dollars that's what they're getting paid so you gotta do you gotta contend with shit like that <clears throat> this is why we always produce our own stuff and this is why i'm always making my own products but anyway <clears throat> And then continue with this, I'm going to go to the bigger thermostat so that way I can get this side set and I can go and do the bigger thermostat. So we can get this engine purring the way it's supposed to be and the customer can be happy. If you're a customer, if they do drugs, I don't care if you see homie working on his fucking vehicle over there and there's a shitload of vehicle out here and he's working on it. Nine out of ten times, <clears throat> it's not licensed doesn't have a degree in it, doesn't know what he's doing, but it's for the quick cash. I mean, anyone can change a brake. That vehicle, that vehicle is only two bolts. Press the pin in. <clears throat> it's the other parts that people don't know about it. And this is why a lot of people have problems. This is why I do these videos to help others that are trying to learn or at least trying to save money. You know, so that they're not getting ripped off by a dope fiend or some <clears throat> shop that has an overhead that's way over than what you're paying for a house. Anyway, <clears throat> Mike with Pacific Tech. This is video number four. I'm going into video number five when I get to that big thermostat. Comment down below.